All right, so this is going to be a uh, liberal sun, liberal moon, and as well uh, liberal rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading, oh my God, May 25th to May 31st, uh, 2020. And uh, just one second, guys. And uh, in case uh, any of you is interested in a, a private reading with me, um, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to find a link to my uh, website from which you can purchase such. So without further ado, let's move to the uh, general weekly reading of, Re of Libra sign and the first card here which marks the very topic of your week, that is going to be the Seven of Wands, followed by the energies which is feeding and supporting the topic that is going to be uh, the Devil followed by uh, the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week that will be the knights of pentacles moving next we do have the gifts and the blessings that um, you get to enjoy throughout the week itself that is going to be the full card followed by the impression that you're going to leave into the people around that is going to be the tree of swords and the last one uh, that we do have it is the guidance of the eight of cups and to be honest that uh, it's all over the place. I mean, it's seriously. It looks like a uh, at least dozens of topics that, on their own, they don't have anything in common. Here, they are meshing in into one big thing, if you will, into a one. I don't know how to say it. A snowball, if you will. So I really, I really hope that this reading is going to make sense because it's really tough to give a sense to those cards, to be honest. So uh, let's start simple. The energies and the topic. So the energies are of the devil and those energies are going to grant you a lot of, uh, of potency in generally with the devil card. Whatever you you say pretty much goes because those energies are going to help you to pretty much um, accomplish those needs or rather like a, those uh, goals that you need to accomplish in the sense of that you do have a yearning for them. So if your yearning resides into having a relationship, those energies will help you to accomplish such a yearning. If your yearning resides into having money, those energies are going to help you as well, you know, accomplish that yearning. <clears throat> so in other words, the energies are going to form the circumstances for you just right so you can push a, a fateful event to take place. So at the end of the day, you can have whatever you, you want. The problem is going to be... Uh, what do you want that thing for? Because the devil, it's a very neutral by its nature and yet a double edged sword, if you will. Because while the means and usually the, how can I say, the, the products of this power are neutral by nature, one can use them to create, one can use them to destroy as well. So uh, it's very important here not to get intoxicated by power itself. And I could say that you won't be intoxicated, or at least you are going to put a hell of a resistance not to get yourself intoxicated and carried away with the, um, with the efficiency that you will be able to storm with into that week. And that is described by the situation with the seven of wands which pretty much points that the whole week is going to be a week of internal struggle okay uh, where you resist the temptation the temptation for example to use that power to smite your enemies or to use that that power to uh, pretty much have it your way knowing that your way is going to cross a, a lot of paths um, of other people of other individuals and actually is going to do more harm to the collective uh, while it's going to do good for you and it doesn't look like that this week it is the week where you have to think solely solely i'm sorry uh for yourself uh however that doesn't mean that you should not capitalize on these 
on the circumstances themselves because they are going to be a, a contiguous circumstances circumstances what i mean is that once they happen they will wait for your action it's it's not like you will need to kind of like um <clears throat> it's either now or never okay you can prolong the um your decision or your action further into the future and with the seven of wands there will be an, an exact timing when when you can pretty much capitalize on uh, on these powerful energies that the devil gives you without harming the environment around you around you and that is the whole goal of uh, of that week <clears throat> to excel but not on the expense of somebody else or of something else but on the expense of the circumstances themselves okay if, if that makes sense like i said it's it's very difficult to describe it because it, it kind of like the meshes multiple things that on their own accord doesn't have anything in common they do not touch each other they do not cross paths but for what it seems this week they do collide um so that being said um if i have to how can i say if i have to give you an example which is that almost throughout the entire week you are kind of like holding yourself barely be able to resist on to act and suddenly you know the uh, the right opening comes about you know the right moment into the, into the right place and so on and so forth and you seize that moment and actually exert the the power of the devil and therefore satiate, satiating the hunger that you do have hunger for money hunger for power hunger for love etc etc so the the, the uh, challenge here um it is the knight of pentacles and that is not a person in your case but that is the whole approach that you need to take capitalizing on the uh, potency here of the devil card because in my classes um i am saying that the devil is not evil but it is not good either devil gives you wings okay what you do with those wings it is entirely up to you because the devil purpose is to prove you unworthy for heaven uh, and he does that by giving you everything you have ever wanted so you can abuse with it and that will be your struggle here not to abuse with the power that the devil gives you but actually use it for a good things and the challenge is going to be really to tame yourself with the Knight of Pentacles because once uh, this uh, week starts and that extraordinary um, energies um, are start taking place, you will feel like you can accomplish anything and you can get away with anything uh, as well. And so uh, you are going to struggle to focus on one thing at the time or one particular thing that it is exactly what you want, because there will be at that point you will want everything. And, and that is pretty much uh, um, um, applicable for every person in this planet that when they do, when they can, they want. So you, you take something not because you want it, but, but because you can take it right but this is not the case here and that is how what that is what you have to uh struggle against right not to go for things that you don't need not to go for things that you want just for the heck of it but instead go for only those things that will prove worth your while and that will uh, that pretty much are going to have any benefits for you at the end of the day and as well with the knight of pentacles because you can get away with a lot of stuff you may t you may tend throughout the week to cut certain corners uh, or not to follow a established plans or a code of conduct if you will um in order to accomplish uh, accomplish your goal and uh, you definitely have to what i mean is that you need to take your actions uh slowly step by step and support them with a very strong determination in other words that you are completely aware of what will follow after your actions take place on the flip side here with the gift and the blessing that will be the full card so uh it's pretty much points that this power that you're gonna have with it you can pretty much a um accomplish or rather like a, a provoke a a brand new experience now as the as the full card offers a new beginnings these are a brand new experiences and in your particular case um, if you 
utilize this uh, this power the right way, then an unachievable goal or unachievable dream up until that point will become very very achievable within your grasp if you uh, if you prefer to say it that way. Uh, there is a long way to go until you accomplish it entirely, all right? But the very least, you have done the heavy lifting and you made it possible. That's the whole point with the full card having it here. And uh, moving next, it will be the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. That is the impression of the Tree of Swords. So people will see you as with your back against the wall because... They will see how much you struggle not to do the wrong thing here and to, um, how can I say, to resist once again the, the temptation. And they will be pretty much amazed with how much resilience you do have in a sense of to endure and to persevere through the temptation of the power of the devil, right? So um, that being said, uh, with the tree of sorts, um, I, I, it's difficult to describe it. It is like seeing somebody that um, uh, they do have the means to accomplish everything, but they know that the majority of those stuff, while it's going to indulge them with comfort, they know that these are wrong things to do. Therefore, they are withholding their means to accomplish that thing. And while there is a, a bit of a poignant taste within their mouths, they know that they have done the right thing. So this is the way how people are going to look at you. So someone who is very um, capable to do the right thing things around and that is the guidance okay uh, here with the eight of cups pointing that at the end of the day there are some uh, some aspects in life and some goals that are simply not worth it you know generally that even if you reach the, the destination you have set for yourself at the end you're not gonna find what you have anticipated and what you have hoped to find and you very well know that so it is better and most of the people are following those goals out of a pure stubbornness so instead you gotta be smart here and recognize or acknowledge what of your uh which of your aims are pretty much there for just because you cannot handle failure or denial Make peace with it and move toward the perspectives which are going to produce a bright result for you. So that being said, Libra, it's more like a guidance reading rather than a, um, how can I say, rather than a fortune telling uh, reading. But uh, hopefully that you know now by hearing this in a better way how to interact with the week itself. And once again, um, if you are interested in a private reading, you can uh, check out the description down below. There you're going to find a link to my website from which you can uh, purchase such. And uh, once the purchase takes place, I'm going to contact you within 24 hours, giving you details how your reading is going to take place. So make sure you do check your spam and junk folder in case my email goes, uh, goes there. Um, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.